And we're talking with Joe DeBruni, and Joe is uh, a graduate of Tomwater High School from 1976 and part of the most successful basketball team ever from Tomwater High School. They took third place, uh, and all through that time, there was, um, again, a pair of coaches, of course, Coach Bill Ward, but Coach Ward has um, passed on for quite some time, but Coach Don Cruz um, and, and Joe it is, it's, it's somewhat remarkable when you think about it. He passes away on the same day that Ed Peppel, or within right. hours that Ed Peppel, the winningest coach in state basketball history, passes away. Don Cruz might be the winningest assistant coach in, uh, in state history. Um, if you counted all his C team and JV teams that he's coached over the years, a remarkable career and such an under the radar guy. And he just did never wanted to be above the radar. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, that's definitely true, Paul. He, I can easily say uh, without fear. In fact, I told this to his face like two years ago that coach Cruz had the biggest impact on my life outside of my family. Um, and as a coach, he was more than that. And as you know, because being a Tumwater graduate yourself, to know Don Cruz was to love him. If you didn't know him, you would think he was the nutty professor and I don't know, somebody very stoic all rolled up into one. He, he had a very dark kind of sarcastic sense of humor. And he also had an eye that was not quite aligned with his other eye. And so therefore you never knew who he was talking to, but if he was part of your circle or you were part of his circle, um, there's nothing he wouldn't do for you. And that's including the last couple of years um, he came on at Capitol High School as my assistant coach and did it all for free just because he loves basketball. He loves to, he loves to give and uh, of that connection. I, he was one of the first people I called after I got the job. You know, and, and, with, with Todd, and I want to, I want to make this clear here. So there's no, um, there's no mistaking it. When you mention his eye, it's something that he was in good humor. And it's something oh, yeah. that you would joke about. So I don't want, someone to no. see this and think that, that that's no that was something that uh he was very honest about and, and upfront and, and goofed around about himself yes exactly but if you just saw him he's not one of those guys that immediately oozed of charisma and charm yeah oh but no once, but once you got the chance to know him um he never forgot you and he was always wet, ready to talk about what was going on in your life just a really nice guy nice guy and remembered everything. I mean, he had to be part elephant, I mean, for crying out loud. This guy had the memory of everyone and, and was, was such an observer uh, of people. And when you got a chance to, to sit and talk with him one-on-one -on -one and just listen to some of his observations, and I don't, I'm not even meaning in a funny way, I'm just talking about he, he would evaluate players and, 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 and boys and girls didn't matter. Uh, basketball, he loved so dark, doggone much. It was uh, it was incredible uh, the amount of knowledge he had over the years. He just, he just and, and he remembered it all. Right, and you know it's, it's at the moment because of COVID and everything else, uh, it's kind of taken a hiatus. But here in Thurston County, um, there is a summer and winter basketball league uh, that used to be run by our good friend Dave Vernon, um, and so there'd be six weeks in the spring, in the summer, you know, in the fall, there'd be five or six weeks and a couple of tournaments in the winter. And Cruz was always there. It didn't matter if it was boys or girls, whether it was eighth graders or whether it was high school, um, the cruiser, as we used to affectionately call him, he was always there. And um, he, he was, who was the guy from um, Tonino? We used to Don. Dick Brock. Yeah. Dick Brock. He was the Dick Brock of our generation. Yep. Cause he was always at a basketball game. And uh, the first time I, I, saw him up in the stands at one of my games before he came onto my staff. I just laughed at, at it because of the fact that I should have known he'd be there. Yep. He was. He would, he would be there. Um, you know, and I was talking with some folks and, uh, and you know, uh, one of the things that I think a lot of people, especially in his, uh, in the latter years here where he really struggled with arthritis and had a hard time getting around, um, he would still climb the steps. He was in charge of the press box at Tumwater District Stadium for Black, when Black Hills had teams there. And, he, and, and like you said, he coached at Capitol. He coached at uh, mostly 
I think the biggest stint was at Tumwater, but he coached at, coached at Black Hills. He coached at Olympia. Was he yeah. out at North Thurston, too, as well? Did he go, I, he might have been at Timberline, too, for all I know. I don't, I don't think so. I think you nailed them all. But uh, so, yeah, most of the people would, would remember him from Tumwater, because that's when he did his most active coaching experience. Right, exactly. And so he would, uh, I mean, his arthritis and all, he'd go up those, all those steps to get up to the uh, Tumwater press box. And, and uh, we've come up there in the last couple of years. And, and you, you had to know him to appreciate this. And we'd be there and, and be set up and ready to go. And you know, hey, Paul, how you doing? Tony and Heather, you know, and, and, and three kids would come in. Hold it. Who are you? Well, we're <laughs> here to video the game. You don't need three people to video the game. Two of you, <laughs> get out. <laughs> he kept That's the exactly lid on, on, on the press box. <laughs> so. That's exactly him. Well, I was, you know, a story I have that just totally amazed me that kind of follows along with that dovetails is, um, the, the year that he was on my bench as my assistant volunteer coach, um, he rode the bus. So I, would, I said, you know, coach, you don't have to go to away games or you can drive if you'd like, but no. He got on the bus, even when we went down to Vancouver, even when we went up to White River. And, you know, again, um, I'm 62 and I do not enjoy riding a school bus. And if it wasn't for the fact that I was in charge of this team, I would not have put myself in that situation. Right. But there he was. He was always on the bus, never complained, um, always knew, because um, there's, I have a, the utmost respect for him. And when we get to talking about basketball, pro, that I'm sure that will shine through. Uh, but he knew when to approach me and when not to. Um, I thought that was pretty rare in an assistant coach. And it just shows you um, the assistant coaches do not get enough um, of, of kudos for the work that they do put in. Um, and I always admire that about him. He knew when to just back off um, and when he sh could say something. And every time I asked him for advice, I just said, coach, just tell me like it is. Don't, I don't need it sugarcoated. And of course, Cruz would never sugarcoat it. You know, he, yep. would, he would say, you, you guys are crappy or something like that. And <laughs> let's get to work and let's fix it. Yep. He's a, he's a, he was a good man. He, he definitely would, would state the problem, but as you mentioned, he'd already be thinking about how to fix it. It wasn't right. a criticism. It was no. a reality. It was no, a reality. No, not. Agreed. He, <laughs> um, he even mentioned that, you know, he, his three years, he was the head coach at uh, Tom Water High School, the boys varsity coach. Um, and after three years, he's, for the most part, it's kind of, he was pushed out and I'm going to leave type of situation. But he said, uh, even then, knowing himself, he says, I do not have the personality to do this. He says, can I coach? Can I relate to the kids? Yes, but I do not do well with parents or with admin. And that was, to him, was a huge stumbling block. So after three years, he decided that, you know, this was not something that was ever going to come to a point where he could really run with it and decided that it would be better off left to somebody who could be the political side of it as well. And he got back into um, doing some assistant coaching. And like I said, he was the game manager just about for everything at Tumwater and Black Hills for the last 20 years. I mean, he was there constantly. Yeah. And, and, I, and I will say, I, I was not uh, at all happy with how Tumwater handled right. that, that situation because they did not allow him to step down. They dismissed him instead. Right. Um, right. And, said, and, and, and instead, and, and like you said, he was he was just not comfortable, even though it, it made no sense to a lot of us until we, you know, you, you got to know that situation, but he had just gotten to the playoffs, I think, for right. the first time in several years, so you finally get to the playoffs, and then they, they let you go, that was something that uh, was hard to, to understand, but um, a, a, a great man, um, just, uh, uh, I mean, a different individual, no, no doubt about it, but you couldn't ask for someone uh, that would be more loyal and Someone that you could, I mean, if you if you had to pick one guy in the world, um, and I and I I would include everyone that I know very closely, um, but if I said I need you here at this time, all of my money, all my chips would be pushed onto Coach Cruz's uh, square. He would be the the only one that I would say would be there, not only on time but likely 
20 minutes to 30 minutes prior to that, ready to go. Uh, and he, he was just that type of guy. I might put some of my chips on you, but other than that, I think you got a sure bet with the cruiser. Yeah. Yeah. But I get distracted, you know, it doesn't take much. I see a penny on the, on the ground. Yeah. And I'm off to for, a, for a squirrel. Ooh, a squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, Joe, thank you uh, so much for your comments uh, here. And uh, Joe uh, is, uh, I want to put a couple of endings on this here because I'm not sure when I'm going to put this in here. So let me do this. And Joe's going to be on uh, Eli's High School Report as well on Tuesday. So we're going to talk more about Coach Cruz and talk a little bit about Tom Water basketball and uh, the 1976 year as well. So Joe, once again, thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you, Paul. And for everybody who knows uh, Coach Cruz, just look up at the sky and know that the, the big guy's looking down on us. And I do want to thank Joe for stopping by and, and sharing his thoughts. Again, Joe, a graduate of Tumwater High School, and as he, he mentioned, is at Coach Cruz, not only as a coach and a teacher, but he's also had him as uh, an assistant coach on his own bench. And so, Joe, once again, thanks for stopping by and sharing your thoughts with, with Coach Cruz. Thank you, Paul. There's nobody I would rather talk about, and Coach Cruz often misunderstood, so I'd love to, to go out and just shout his glory. So thank you.